Hey folks, Jonathan here. Got us a uh, air compressor, big one. Don't know much about it, and probably gonna need some help on it. Uh, I think Bobby's gonna give me a hand, but I think it's uh, it's made to handle plenty of air. Uh, I believe it's, it's 600 CFM. I believe is what it says, which sounds awful big to me, but right about there, it says capacity. 600 ACFM and well cubic feet said cubic 64 or 461 so it might be 461 so I'm not sure made 1978 this is a military compressor okay here it is 600 CFM that is what it is at 100 psi so we wouldn't need even 100 psi we but we could use 600 CFM so uh, uh 6B53 Detroit engine runs good is my understanding okay the problem that we're having well from what I'm told is it's not building air it's got a cat up in it I thought this thing had a Detroit but maybe it's got a cat in it uh, so anyway we got Nana doing some searching so what we've got is a compressor that is either not building pressure or it's not releasing and something's going on and not letting the engine rev. Uh, I have, my understanding is it was doing good. There was no problems. And the owner decided to change the oil in it and before a big job and it wouldn't build after that. He's saying 60 PSI and it sounds like it's under load, like it's pulling down on the engine. So I don't know if it's possibly, maybe there's a bearing in the pump going out. I mean, I really don't know. Uh, it might just be trying to deadhead somehow, but there is somebody that I know that knows, knows a lot about them that has worked on them, and that's Bobby Main. So he is going to come give me a hand on this thing when we get ready. But one reason I wanted to do the video is that I'm hoping that maybe somebody on here has worked on one before and can maybe give me some suggestions uh, on it. And. Uh, I don't know anything there is about it. I'm going to go online and see if I can find a manual of some sort or kind and uh, air discharge from this unit is not suitable for human consumption. <laughs> that don't even make no sense. Alright, so uh, anyway, that's the plan is to see if we can get her get her going. This thing would be good, really good for sandblasting too, but uh, I think it would run a steam engine. But, well. I think we're going to make him mad. Oh, no. <laughs> murder hornet all right so uh so that's what we got 1978 ingersoll ran see if there's just a regular model number on this thing yeah p600 s dash gm probably gm for the engine and then uh 600 for the keep your feet for a minute so anyway i'm assuming with that us up there that this was a military of course uh could be you know air force or something i don't know but so if anybody happens to know anything about it if you could uh maybe chime in there i'm assuming that that compressor is no different than like a supercharger style compressor and uh i don't know what would lock one of them down unless it's actually the bearings that are bad in it and it might be i mean if this thing turns out where we got to pull the engine out and scrap the rest of it, I'm not going to, you know, it's not going to kill me. I'm not going to be in it so much that it, it's really going to matter, but we're going to see if it's feasible to fix it. And, uh, you know, even if we got to tear it down and we'll go from there. So, uh, anyway, this is, uh, just a little side project project. So we'll put it over to the side and wait until Bobby's got some time to, to mess with it and we'll see what we can get figured out on it and go from there I don't know how many hours is on I can't see it really well it's supposed to be low but you know how it is 
I don't think it matters about hours. I think it more matters about service and whether it was taken care of or not. So we will uh, we will give it a try and see if we can at least get something out of it. And if it if it don't work out, it don't work out. So anyway, make sure I don't get Nana closed up in here. I don't think she'll like that too well. And this unit here, I hauled on the roll back to the house. This is uh, it's showing shipping weight was 8,700 pounds, I think, or the weight of it, 8,150. Shipping weight was 7,770, and then uh, once you put your oil in, so it's 8,145, so 8,100 pounds is what it weighs. It's got lights on the back, but it's got a toolbox covering the lights up. You can't see them. I don't know what that's all about. I had to get two air cleaner bottoms. Uh, one was rusted away, and the other one was in there, and now it's gone, and that ain't right. So uh, I can't tell how much oil it's showing. Hopefully, we don't have bearing issues, but, but we will see. Okay, so I guess uh, since I've been posting quite a few videos of me getting the steam engine out, uh, I think I spent six days total getting the entire steam engine out of there. Uh, maybe five days. I can't remember. But anyway, you know, I guess I've had people think that uh, I don't tow anymore. So within them five days, I picked up this one, 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 and this one. So for anybody that thinks that uh, getting steam engines out is a full-time job, uh, I've still got a full-time job. The uh, I've been I was really lucky with this whole ordeal with steam engine that I don't think I missed a single Highwood Patrol Sheriff's Department call. I was lucky that they all came at night, uh, in the middle of the night, and then the day that it rained so bad that they didn't go to the steam engine, I towed all day. So it worked out really well. And uh, so we have got a lot of wrecks here waiting on insurance and customers and you know stuff that we'll probably get stuck with, but you know some of it, so it's the way it goes. but. Anyway, for anybody that thinks I haven't been, that I, you know, been playing hooky or something and been actually working, uh, you know, the record service don't stop, period, ever, 24-7, 365, all right, no, no, are you cat scanning, hmm, all right.